Sorry, atheist, but you have failed yet again to give at least one example. If it were so easy to make dazzling angel-like beings hovering above this chapel, then so suddenly disappear into thin air as so, wouldn't it be just as easy to give at least one example of how this could be done? Okay, Mr. Creationist, let's point out your stupidity again. Dark Matter 2525 has made a video demonstrating how ridiculous and inane this creationist's claims are, which I included in the crotch bar of my last video, but which the creationist chose to ignore. Now since this creationist is too lazy to do it himself, I'm going to play a clip from Dark Matter's video rather than link it again. Further, in response to this creationist's attempts to appeal to what he perceives as my lack of expertise in this area, I have some more video clips to play. Previously, this creationist submitted this clip as supposed evidence for his supernatural explanation supplanting a natural one, committing a number of logical errors in the process. He also submitted this one. In both cases, they were supposed to demonstrate the existence of God. As I will now demonstrate, this is not any sort of evidence. First of all, in a case of a visitation of the car accident, wouldn't Jesus have visited while the victims of the accident were present at the scene, as opposed to appearing on an image after the fact, while pictures were being taken for the purposes of accident documentation? Secondly, anyone with Photoshop and the right skills can change this into this. Now in regard to the creationist's video clips that he posted, there are many ways of achieving the effect of a sudden appearance of lights in the form of an ethereal figure. And this, as I stated in the original video, has been known about for several decades within the special effects business. It seems that this creationist doesn't get out much or watch very many films. Now one example is to have a construction in the background with some lights mounted upon it, pre-programmed or remotely controlled to light up and shut off at predetermined or user controlled points. Even broadcast quality high definition cameras cannot easily see the underlying construction framework in the dark of night without lighting assistance, and a cell phone camera or cheap digital camera has no chance against the professional variety. Another example is one that requires demonstration. Take a look at this video. This was one submitted by the creationist in support of his claims on the supernatural. Now here's another example. Somewhere in the southwest of England, an image of Jesus appears in the sky to give everybody a sign of his power. There's just one problem. I made this. Yep. Just as I pointed out to Evidence Free in my response to him, I am able to utilize a variety of 3D tracking, modeling, and animation tools. Combine that with video composition and post processing applications, I am able to create my very own supernatural visitation. If I can do this, I'm damn sure others can. And the moral of this story in this case don't be so gullible. So in conclusion, with respect to the quote from the creationist, Wouldn't it be just as easy to give at least one example of how this could be done? Next time you attempt to call someone's bluff, maybe you should make sure that they're actually bluffing to begin with, because trying to call someone's bluff when they're not actually bluffing just makes you look like a complete muppet. At this point, I've dealt with enough of this creationist's video to demonstrate his inanity and idiocy. I don't have any intention of going all the way through the remainder of this video given how ridiculous and gullible this guy is and especially given this bit at the end. And the creationist clearly doesn't know when Voodoo 6 is making a joke. Clearly, this atheist doesn't know what I was talking about. Whether or not it was a joke does not justify the fact that it was presented in such a way that would be used to indignify someone in a fraudulizing way such as this. What at all? Fraudulizing? Fraudulizing isn't even in my copy of the New Oxford American Dictionary. In the end, the clip was to illustrate the failure of Shock of God's arguments and nothing more. This was even declared by Voodoo 6 in his original video by the use of an annotation, something that this creationist has deliberately omitted. And no, that little vague comment he added at the end doesn't justify it either. 
this gives me every right to accuse Voodoo Six of dishonesty, even if it were a joke, a dishonest joke rather. And because of that, as well as many other baseless, mindless, and arrogant claims you and Voodoo Six cling to and accuse Christians of while ignoring the fallacies of yourselves and atheism and evolution is in every way dishonest and therefore Voodoo Six and you both deserve in every way to be called dishonest. Oh your god. Clearly creationists have a very strange sense of humor as well as anger problems. Oh, and associating evolutionary biology and atheism in the same sentence? That's childish. But enough on this point, the creationists are clearly angry that we're making fun of their ridiculous beliefs and I won't entertain their anger any longer. Further am I going to point out the creationists hypocrisy on this point? Take a look at these comments. As you can see from the comments, this creationist while angrily spitting in fury about how dishonest we are supposed to be in videos, accuses me immediately in the comments section of lying when I made an error in some bible quotes I made. He deliberately ignored on two occasions the statement I made admitting that I was mistaken, instead focusing his attack on my supposed dishonesty. It took until I forced the issue and told him, twice, that he should either acknowledge that I admitted my error or he should press the plot button. After all was said and done, he had the nerve to say that he forgives me, such is the arrogance of this creationist. Now I'm sure this creationist is going to make a 30 part ramble in response to this video which of course is his right, but I've already said all I need to. As can clearly be seen in the video, the original videos the creationist has made and in the ridiculous statements that this moron has made to me, that this creationist is a complete idiot and I will pull no punches in saying so. His idiocy, as I stated in the comments page, has nothing to do with his religion so on that point he shouldn't be playing the religious persecution card. Oh. And someone who thinks that the Flintstones was a documentary, who believes in talking snakes and talking elephants and talking donkeys, who believes that it's possible to live in the stomach of a whale for more than three days, that evolution, plate tectonics, archaeology, geology, atomic theory, chemistry, cosmological physics and every other science that unequivocally supports the age of the earth or the universe and of the vast biodiversity of life on this planet is somehow a joke, shouldn't be engaging in childish tactics such as this. <laughs> After all, to deny all of the evidence that nature is responsible, that science can quantify nature and explain how so many things work, to deny all of these things in favour of what essentially amounts to wishful thinking in a book whose only evidence is apologetic evasions and attempts to misrepresent modern science through tactics such as what this furious and angry creationist has stated in his video, is on a level equal to denying that the Apollo moon landing ever took place or claiming that homeopathy works, that 9-11 was an inside job, that anorexia is a lifestyle choice as opposed to an eating disorder, or that vaccines are toxic and will kill you. If this creationist wishes to stop denying reality, if he wishes to stop behaving like he knows it all and then projects such behaviour onto other people, if he wishes to stop pretending that he is right and all of the world's scientific minds who have dedicated their lives to their respective fields of study are wrong, and when he wishes to stop being childish, when he can get his testosterone under control and can stop his teenage anger and hubris getting in the way of a civilised discussion, then we might talk. But so long as he behaves like an infant, I'm going to ignore him and anyone else who wishes to sock account spam my channel on his behalf. It is my intention to get back to the original plan that I had for my videos and release the first part of my free thought monologue shortly, just as soon as I can set up the motion graphics for it. Thank you all for your time.